Hello my dear learners, welcome to a new English learning session with your mentor Namita and from now on on this channel I am going to upload proper English learning classes for all those learners who are serious about learning good English. So those of you who are genuinely interested in learning English from your teacher then you need to leave your name in the comment section below. I want to know the real names of my students because sometimes the handles with the name user and some numericals are displayed and it is very hard for me to figure out the learners names. So all those of you who are my students please leave your name in the comment section and tell me that you are interested in full sessions. Well, in today's session you are going to learn some new vocabulary, the way to form proper sentences and some new phrases and in the end we are even going to do some newspaper reading. So this is going to be a wonderful English learning session for all of you. So as we all know that this is that time of the year when we are experiencing beautiful rains of the monsoons. So I thought what else could be the best topic other than rains. So the topic for this session is rains and everything would be circled around rain. You will get to learn new expressions and by the end of the session you'll be able to express yourself very well by forming proper sentences and by using good vocabulary. Let's begin this session now. But make sure that you're sitting with a pen and notebook to note down all the new things that you're going to learn today. Rain is not only drops of water. It's the love of the sky for the earth. They never meet each other, but send love this way. And otherwise also, you already know that if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain, isn't it? Alright, now let's move to the expressions which are related to rain. The first one is, it's drizzling. It's drizzling. Now drizzling is used for very light rain. When there are only fine raindrops, we say it's drizzling. When it's not raining heavily, it's a very light rain, then we use drizzling. Let's look at some of the examples. We can just quickly go out and grab something to eat as it's just drizzling. Alright? The next expression is, the rain isn't too bad. It's only drizzling. You can also say that the drizzle has stopped now. And the sun is finally breaking through. So you can use drizzle, drizzling only for the light rain. When the rain is really fine. So you can use it's drizzling. Now, when it is raining, when there is just normal rain, you know it already that we say it's raining. It's raining. In uh, example, you can simply say, while coming back from school, it started raining. And by the time we reached home, we were completely drenched and cold. Now, you must have seen this word drenched that I have used here in this sentence. Drenched means fully wet. Now, you can always say we got wet, we were completely wet and cold. But when we are talking about advanced English, when we are talking about speaking English in a good manner, then we need to use the word drenched. So, instead of saying wet, try using drenched. Similarly, you can also use the word soaked. Soaked also mean fully wet. So, you can use soaked. We were completely soaked. Now, drenched and soaked are used when you are fully wet. 
But when you are slightly wet, when it's not a lot of wetness that you're feeling, then we use the word damp. Damp is used for slightly wet. An example is that after one rain, you can say, last night it rained, but the grass is still damp. The grass is still damp. Or if not for rain, otherwise also for anything that's slightly wet, you can use the word damp. Have a look at this example. She wiped the table with a damp cloth. She wiped the table with a damp cloth. So this is how we use these kind of words here. Alright, now when there is heavy rain, so we use the expression it's pouring. It's pouring. So for heavy rains, pouring is a very nice word to use. Like you can say, despite the pouring rain, 500 guests attended the wedding. Isn't it nice? You can use pouring for heavy rains. And for very heavy rains, we also use the expression, it's bucketing down. It's bucketing down. Like you can say, I think you should stay back as it's bucketing down. Suppose your friend said that I'm going out to buy something for myself, then you can say, I think you should stay back as it's bucketing down. Or another way of saying the same thing is, look at the weather. It is absolutely bucketing down. We can't go out today. So I hope after this, you would be able to use this expression, bucketing down easily. There is one idiom which is also used to describe heavy rains. Like the expression is, it's raining cats and dogs. And it's a very beautiful expression. It's an idiom which we use for very heavy rains. It's raining cats and dogs. So, to use it in a sentence, suppose you are not going to go for your tuition classes today. You can say, I didn't go for my class as it was raining cats and dogs. Yes, as it was raining cats and dogs. So, you can use bucketing down, raining cats and dogs or you can simply say it's raining buckets out there. That's another way of saying the same thing. It also means that it is raining very heavily outside. So, if I have to put it in a sentence, I would say, uh, be sure to put on your raincoat. It's raining buckets out there. So, any of these expressions or idioms you can use to talk about heavy rains. Now, let's move to something which is about raining for a short period. Scattered showers. Scattered showers is used for on and off rain when it was raining for short periods throughout the day. Now, in weather forecast, if you try to listen to it, especially when they are talking about Delhi weather forecast, they say the city will experience scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow. Try listening to the weather forecast very carefully and I'm sure you'll come across scattered showers. But you can always use it in your conversations. Okay. Like scattered showers, we have the expression called downpour. Yes, downpour is used for a lot of rain which is falling in a short time. So, we can say, we can talk about it in this way. The river occasionally becomes a torrent after a downpour and may even cause flooding. So, this is how we can use downpour. Similarly, there is an expression called torrential rain. Now, first of all, let's try to understand the word torrent. Now, torrent means a strong and fast flow of something, especially water. So, when we use it in torrential rain, we say, Look at an example. Because of the torrential rainfall, 
the children couldn't play outside. It is as simple as that. So, these are some of the expressions which include some idioms to talk about rains. Heavy rainfall, light rainfall, raining for short period of time. So, this is how you can talk about rains. I hope you are noting each expression down. Now, we are going to talk about some of the expressions which are not really related to rain, but it has rain in the name. So, it's not directly related to rain, but yes, we use these expressions to talk about different scenarios. For example, the very first expression is rain check. Now, rain check has nothing literally to do with rain. We use this expression when we need to postpone an appointment or a plan, but still intend to do it at a later date. Suppose somebody has invited you, but you cannot go. But at the same time, you want to take advantage of that invitation at another more convenient time. So it is about postponing or delaying something. For example, if I say we can take a rain check on dinner and meet next week instead, right? Or if you have a plan with a friend, then you can tell your friend that, sorry, but I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Let's take a rain check. Or if there is a movie plan that you have, then to cancel or postpone the movie plan, you will say, I'll take a rain check on the movies tonight. I still have a lot of studying to do. So this is how we use the expression rain check. Now, the next expression is, rain or shine. Now, rain or shine means to do something whether it's raining outside or the sun is shining. This means that we do something enthusiastically no matter how we are feeling. So, whatever you're feeling right now, you're not looking at the weather. You have to do it inevitably. An example would be the baseball game is at 4 p.m. Rain or shine. The another example is, my father is an early riser, but he runs at sunrise, come rain or shine. Another way of using rain or shine in your conversations is, I feel exhausted after work, but come rain or shine, I must take a cold shower before supper to relieve myself. The next expression is saving for a rainy day and this is a very common expression. It means to save or keep something until it is truly needed. When we save something, we keep something, especially money, for when it may be needed in the future. Then we use the expression saving for a rainy day. Let me give you some examples to make it more clear to you. I don't like to spend much of my earnings because I believe in saving for a rainy day. Let me know something about your belief related to saving for a rainy day. Okay, another way to use it can be, I got a gift card for my birthday, but I'm not going to use it now. I am saving it for a rainy day. So, now you can use rainy day expression into your everyday conversations. The next expression is rain down on someone or something. Now, rain down means to criticize or praise someone continually. When you actually it, it can be used in both ways for criticism and for praise. Let me give you an example. The boss just loves to rain down on her employees with criticism. Now, this was for criticism, but exact opposite of this can be the boss has been raining praise down on Janet all week for the work she did. So, this is how you can also use rain down. The next expression is right as rain. Now, this means that we feel 
fine and it is often said after we have recovered from an illness basically we use it for feeling well or healthy again after an illness or injury the perfect example can be i have recovered from my cold now and i feel as right as rain or suppose your friend says oh i have a headache and then you can reply by saying you just need a good night sleep and then you'll be right as rain again so i hope it is clear to you how you can use right as rain the next expression is no rain no rainbow and this one is my favorite it means that good things can't happen unless something negative also happens let's look at an example try to have enthusiasm about going for a walk every day as there is no rainbow without rain let me give you another one my mother always tells me that positive things usually happen after or alongside bad things and it's true that there is no rain no rainbow so you can use this expression as well now let's move on to the next expression which is be rained off it means that something was cancelled due to bad weather so being rained off rained off is used for cancellation especially due to bad weather now the perfect example is the cricket match was rained off they are going to reschedule it for the next weekend or today's exam was rained off and will be scheduled for tomorrow instead so this is how you can also use rained off in your conversations now the last expression is when it rains it pours so when it rains it pour means that when something bad happens it's perhaps inevitable that other bad things will happen too basically i'm trying to say is that bad things happen together or something good or bad occurring multiple times within a short span of time now let's look at some examples and i'm sure then it will be completely clear to you well first they had the car accident and then this fire burnt half of their house down as they say when it rains it pours or another example can be first he had a terrible accident then his wife had a heart attack really when it rains it pours and now i'm going to give you a conversation which will help you understand this one phrase clearly when it rains it pours suppose the first friend is saying is asking the other friend how are things coming along with the interview the second friend said so sad i woke up early and prepare carefully however my car was broken on the way to the company it took time to come here when i came my turn was passed now the first friend can say oh that's bad when it rains it pours now you can also use these expressions in your daily conversations to switch from basic to advanced english all right so how was it i believe that you have learned a lot of new vocabulary expressions and phrases and you would be able to use all of them very easily after practicing a little It's time now to do the reading. You are going to read an article along with me. Though I have scanned the article and I have uploaded it for you, you can read it from there. Otherwise, you can even switch on the subtitles. But as I'm speaking it along with you, you'll be able to get the proper pronunciation of the words. Let's get into some reading task now. The coming of the rains signals a relief from the boiling summer heat. 
holding the hands of the summer comes the monsoon dark skies indicate the cherished rainfall though the rains upset our daily schedule and cause inconveniences at times the monsoon season is always welcome people hunt out their long forgotten umbrellas raincoats and gumboots students rush to the school in colorful raincoats and umbrellas office goers are seen hurrying to offices to reach on time sometimes when there is a very heavy rainfall life comes to a standstill during the monsoon season traffic jams and flooded lanes people and children swaying in the floods are a common sight it gives an eternal pleasure to watch children floating paper boats in the over flooded streets many await a rainy day holiday to enjoy the weather with the family indian farmers are primarily dependent on monsoon for irrigation during the monsoon the fields crops trees and plants become alive the whole of nature comes to life in a sea of green during the monsoon it is very important that the rains come on time delayed monsoon may cause drought and irreversibly damage the crops Despite modern methods of farming the monsoon rains are a reservoir for the farmers and their fields beautiful flowers blossom during monsoon dry rivers are over flooded with rains but every coin has two sides and this blessed season too is no exception to this rule this eternal season brings around natural calamities and disasters the delayed monsoon bring droughts the early monsoon ruins the standing crops extreme rainfall causes extensive damage to crops overflowing of rivers causes flood that damages property fields and crops along with loss of valuable lives landslides during the monsoon in hilly areas cause many to lose their lives houses and their livelihood in urban areas the street dwellers are terribly affected by the monsoons they lose their places of accommodation because of heavy rainfall and floods this is the season when everyone is advised to avoid eating street food as well as junk food Several diseases such as malaria, dysentery, typhoid, cholera proliferate during the monsoon season. In the end, rain is a reminder of the power of nature and the importance of balance. So, how was the reading task? I believe that after doing this much of reading you are feeling a lot more confident with your English. I have shortlisted some words for you from the article which were already highlighted. I want you to use these words and form your own sentences so that we end the session with some very productive homework. 
and those of you who have attended the full session and have come till here i want you to make one of the sentence using any one of the vocabulary word of your choice from these words and write it in the comment section so that i get to know how many of you are genuine serious learners i would give a shout out to the students who are attending all the full sessions and who are curious for a lot more that is coming on the way so if this session was productive and you got to learn a lot of things then leave a comment like this video and share it with your friends i'm going to see you in my next session till then keep working on your english my best wishes are always with you bye bye